Let's talk about closure. Number one issue that I see is people seek closure from the people who are part of the pain. Something is a source of pain. It is a source of pain. I do not expect healing to come from pain. If you're dating someone, if it's your ex, if you're going through a breakup, going through a divorce, you're going to look at this person as a source of pain. You also are going to give yourself pain because you're gonna consistently look for them to give you closure. You're gonna look for them to give you healing. So you've created two sets of pain the external pain and the internal pain. Now, the external pain will only be solved by internal understanding. The internal pain will only be solved by internal understanding. The worst thing you can do is seek another person to change their behavior, explain why they did this, shift the way that they feel. Those are all things that occur externally outside of you and you can't control those ever. The only thing you can control is your effort, your attitude, how you process your emotions. I didn't say you could control your emotions because your emotions are responses to this very moment. You can't control your emotions. You control how you process your emotions, how you react to your emotions. You control the identity that you give your emotions. So you're going through an emotional time. Stop saying that you're broken. Stop saying that your heart is broken. Stop saying that no one will ever love you again. Stop saying that no one cares about you. You can't say these type of things because then you create this box and you live inside of that box. Don't do that. Instead of saying I'm broken, I'm healing. No, nope. instead of saying nobody is gonna love me, this person didn't know how to efficiently be in a relationship with me. One of the most effective strategies with healing and closure, I truly believe is the no contact rule. I think that you have to get to a point where you can say, hey, you know what? We have reached that last straw. Let's both watch our hands of each other and be done. It's hard because you invest years. You invest your time. And the mindset is, I should get something in return for my investment. Sometimes your only investment is what you've invested meaning the investments have already came back to you. There will be no future investments. Never go back to the person that is causing you harm with the expectation that they will heal you. That person will never heal you. That person will never heal you. That is that is not their role. That person is probably hurting too. And, that, and that's the other thing we have to remember. When there's a breakup, when there's a divorce, both people are in pain. It's never one-sided. Both people are in pain. So if one person is just pushing their agenda, this is how I feel, this is what I think, this is how it needs to be. They don't wanna hear what the other person has to say. They're just yamming this agenda down a person's throat. What do you think is gonna happen? This person's gonna feel resentment. They're gonna feel not heard. They're gonna feel uh, not worthy. And then it might come back. It's just gonna, and it's just gonna go like that. To give yourself the real closure, understand that both of you are in pain. It's gonna hurt you to walk away. Maybe you're the one that decided, hey, we gotta walk away. It's going to hurt you to make that decision. It's going to hurt them. But you guys are going to hurt each other more if you just keep yamming at each other, jamming things down each other's throat, yelling at each other, telling each other how they're no good. You're a cheater. You're a whore. You're not valuable. You don't do this. You don't make enough money. You don't listen. It's just noise, conflict. It's just conflict. Another tip for closure is to make sure you have the right mindset. Some people believe that closure means you're never ever going to think about, never going to see, never going to speak of this person. Well, that's unrealistic. If you've invested time with them and you guys have family friends, you have friends who know of each other, you have social media accounts that know of each other, there's no way you're gonna avoid this person. So the closure has to come knowing that you're not gonna be together. Mm.